I think I kind of love it. <laughs> In the last episode, we took this old beat up mountain bike that we got from this Boy Scout camp a few years ago and brought it up into 2021 with this awesome black and silver camouflage paint job. Today we're gonna to finish the job by putting a brand new fork on this bike and putting all the rest of the components back on this bike so that we can turn it into a buddy bike for my mother-in-law. This bad boy right here is one of the main reasons I really wanted to do this job. It is so stinking rusted here and then there's tons of rust on the stanchions down inside the uh, the lowers here. So actually when the kids would stop, there was a lot of give front to back inside here because there's just, this thing is just really worn out. We're gonna take and remove the crown race. This is the thing that makes the bearings on the steerer tube work. So we're gonna remove that, remove the brakes, and then we're gonna sell this to anybody that wants to refurbish it. I saw this awesome hack on YouTube for getting the crown race off where you use razor blades. And what you do is you're just supposed to keep stacking razor blades, one on top of the other, just keep hammering them in. We just keep, I bet you I'm good enough actually. The more I've got, I've got a couple in there. I did spray this with WD-40 beforehand. And you can see I've got a nice, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I think I've got a nice gap there that I should be able to pry that with a screwdriver now. Oh yeah, that's coming off nice. So big win, big win for the razor blade hack. That actually was super, super easy. And now I've just gotta keep prying until that comes off. And that's what we're after. That's the piece that has to go onto the next uh onto the next fork okay guys this is the final piece we've been waiting for this is a ztz air shock that we got off amazon not too shabby it's got a double air uh suspension system so you've got air on the positive and the negative side so you put air in up here and then air on the bottom right here so there's no rebound adjust on this one it is set for a quick release it is designed for uh, disc brakes. So far, I really like as I go through this, it's pretty good. I'm gonna let just a touch of air out. And that's, that slows it down just a little bit. So I think that's how the positive and the negative work together. Well, let's cut this down and then we'll get it filed off and a star nut in it and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we have a new star nut here. So we're gonna use the socket method. So a little star nut and just put the top cap screw in there and that'll give us something to hit on as we drive that down in there. Next step is to put the crown race on. That's this piece right here. It just slides on over the top here and we're gonna jam this down by getting this piece of pipe and get that down there and then we'll hit the piece of pipe that way we don't damage this part right here. You can see that sitting on there pretty good. Now I will say, one thing you guys should know is that when you get any new bike or any new steerer tube, after you get a ride or two in, you check to see if this is settled down anymore and you re-tighten the head tube, re-tighten the, the, the handlebars and everything on top of here so that as this settles, you get rid of all the play that might occur as this settles down even maybe a little bit tighter.
love how the texturing of this paint job hides all of the imperfections underneath this paint job. Those things would have been a lot more visible had I just done a traditional paint job. But this texturing, I think, looks cool and serves a really functional purpose. I also ended up painting the seat post, the stem, and the handlebars, all just so I didn't have to buy any more new parts for this bike. That way we refurbished the old and kept everything as original as possible. I really couldn't be happier with how this turned out. This bike paint looks so cool. All the kids want to ride it. It is going to serve a great purpose. We're going to end up giving this bike back to my mother-in-law so that she has a bike for any of her grandkids to join her on any of the rail trail or very beginner mountain bike trails that she likes to ride. We'll call it her buddy bike. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to Martin from Ito Designs and all of his videos that he has for bike paint. The guy is an absolute artist. I'm nowhere near as good as that, but for my first time, I really was so thrilled with how it turned out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.